Tales of the Toast Crumb series. And we're going to take a look real quick here at our wonderful tracker on all the stuff that is to be tracked. Uh, we got 48 Korok seeds, which is a drop in the bucket. Um, most of the stuff we got is also drops in the bucket. But one thing that we don't have this drop in the bucket is this cute little dude here, Rusty. He has been given um, his daddy some. Uh, well, it's uh, it's 26 degrees out right now at Turtle Club, and we got our space heater on, and it's maybe close to 50 right now. So we're we're looking at some things. So one thing to let you know is far, far off in the future, like maybe in a month or so, Digret and I are looking at rearranging a lot of what the house has done um, from a common area standpoint, right? The room that I am currently in, the Turtle Cave, as awesome as it is, it is proving that there is some complications with the weather. Uh, we've seen this a couple of years, we've done some things to try to combat that, we've installed the ceiling fan, we've got space heaters, we've tried to help uh, shore up the windows, a few things, but it's really not really working out for a long-term solution. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take my room and we're going to take what's currently our living room and currently Rusty's room and we're going to rotate all those. Uh, Rusty's room will become my office, my office will become the new living room, and the living room will become Rusty's new room. And long, uh, long term, it's actually going to work out really, really good for a lot of things. But I want to let you guys know ahead of time that this is a thing that we're going to be doing because when it does happen, this is not going to be one of those click our fingers and it's all done things. Uh, it's going to be, yes, you have been chewing on your bone so much that you almost knocked yourself in the head. Let's get your bone. Uh, all the slobbers. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Now you can chew right there, buddy. But I just want to let you guys know that that is something that is going to be coming up in the future because when it does happen, there is going to be some streams that aren't going to happen. I hope to have some live content uh, or some recorded content ready for that when it goes. But, um, you know, life, as they say, is what happens as we make other plans. There's another island over here. How did I miss this other island? Uh, we need to go in for, for science reasons. We have to go see what this other island is first. Now, where we last left off in this wonderful little redux of Eventide Island is we managed to defeat all three monster camps, which then meant that the pirates have come back. And yeah, there, there's there's something out over here, and I am really interested in what exactly it is. So we are going to uh, not do that. Let's see here. Ooh. Well, we'll call that a draw. So there is, over there, a mass of stuff. So the question we have for ourselves first and foremost is will this float? And the answer is yes, yes it will, okay. So we have two ways we can go about this. Uh, number one is the way that the developers really want us to do it, and that is to make this really cool, great floating contraption and let it just kind of go forward. But the one thing that we've discovered about contraptions is they despawn. After you do too much with them, they just decide, you know what, you don't really need that thing that you've been trying to to just move with so what we can do instead and one thing I have noticed is as long as you're within like render distance of stuff it never despawns and as long as you don't like force them to do stuff the game doesn't care what you do with them so we're just gonna make little skipping stones 
Skipping stones. And we'll just get right across. Alright. And there goes my watch telling me that, hey, Mag, it is time to stream. We've already got our stream going on. So we are already winning here. I am of the opinion, though, that when we get all the way over here, that something horrible might happen. So I am mildly concerned as to what the horribleness might be. I'm willing to bet that there's some kind of entrance for the pirates there. Hope everybody's week's going by so far so good. My week's doing pretty good. Um, had so in in in, in relation to that, right? Um, some of the news that we did put on the channel a while back is that my career looks like it's going to be progressing, and there are some good news and some bad news on that. The good news is, as far as career progression goes, um, my department did go ahead and, and actually offer me the position that I wanted. Um, well, I've been offered the shift that I wanted for the backup position, I guess is the better way to say it. Which, you know, that's not horrible, right? Not getting my first pick, but getting my second pick. At least I get to work the schedule I want, so I'm really happy with that. Um, as far as the people that I'll be working with, most of them I have not worked with in the past. Not closely, at least. A uh, few of the people that I have worked with um, that did apply for the position, they're currently waiting for an offer or a rejection. Unfortunately, one of the guys I worked with, a uh, real good dude, um, did not get the position, which is unfortunate. But it's a group that's going to be growing and so here's the hoping that they grow quickly and those people that didn't quite make the cut um, are going to hopefully still you know be awfully close Let's see we could have made like a little pontoon boat we could have done any number of things but honestly even this amount of distance, I I could I could see it despawning on us. It's the only real complaint I have with the construction system is that I don't really know if it's time based. I don't know if it's distance based. I don't know if it's fuel based. You know, there, there's a lot of things here that are you know questions. On the plus side also, there's not really a current, so that that's pretty good in my opinion too. Uh, why am I getting Discord notifications? Oh, because Mikey said that we just went live. Excellent, excellent. And why has that happened? Okay, there we go. Slowly but surely, we will make our little stepping stones. Get to where we need to get them. Alright. Yeah, see right there, that little alcove there? I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go. It would be pretty awesome, I think, that if we found Zelda while we're out here. You know how she's been kind of appearing places? I think it'd be great. Alright. Little nod to Wind Waker, maybe. Uh oh, that's not good. Come on. Oh, alright. So, what's here? Anything? Oh, we have a Korok seed over here. Okay. Well, that's useful. 
Ha <laughs> Bam. Quark seed number 49. We almost have enough for a head suit ants. An armored porgy. Alright. A mighty porgy. Alright. Um, of the two. Oh. Oh, if we were to, like, lose stamina in the middle of this circle of fish, that would be very disappointing. Alright. So back to what we were doing. So I think if we do this, it may be just a little bit faster, right? Grab, move. Swim to the next one. Grab, move, and swim to the next one. And silly YouTube, I currently have way more bit rate than what you're saying, according to OBS at least. This is, this, I gotta admit, the hey Minecraft, how's it going, man? I gotta admit the the recreation even tied island this time around. It's pretty neat. I uh, I am slightly disappointed that it's not like a uh, a play on the Link's Awakening again, especially since we just had a, a remaster of the game come out, you know. But it is what it is. Got a calculus exam. Oh man, calculus is one of those fun maths. I I enjoyed it when I was in college. The only thing I didn't quite care for for calculus was I never took trigonometry, and so things like sine, cosine, log, and all that kind of stuff, tangent. I that was nothing that I was aware of, and I was informed when I went into calc that I'd have a review of it. Uh, no, I did not restart my playthrough. We are all the way... We're all the way here. We've got a pretty good amount done. We have like four more towers to get. But we're on even tide right now. And we just about finished the quest here. And we're doing a 100% playthrough, so it's going to be quite some time before uh, things get a little out of hand like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Open my adventure log, it says. Why would we want to open our adventure log right now? I guess we ought to do what it says. Uh, open our adventure log. Oh, so... Basically, the game's just saying, go kill all the pirates. Surprise stream! Good morning! Hey, Sue! Yeah, we we are in a, in a good week. We're supposed to be streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But holidays, sickness, uh, Corgi not feeling good, those kind of things been kind of coming up to us. But speaking of old Corgito, Rusty is doing pretty good. Um, we think he got into another food he shouldn't have got into, and yeah, he he was he was not doing well yesterday for for a bit. Oh, let's see here. Okay, 
you there. Let's see. Um, oh, that's not good. That is beyond not good. Okay. Alright, we're gonna turn off Riju because we really can't see what we're doing in here when her ability is going on, so... We did see some exclamation points up there. So we know that there's something there. Interesting. All right. Hoping we can get some more consistent streaming going on. We did really good at the beginning of the year, and then everything kind of snug up on us. And, and, and to be fair, we did sort of have a, a Corgi come out of nowhere. Could be problematic. Oh, not anywhere near as problematic as this guy's gonna be. Oh my gosh. Um, let's let's push room. Oh no! You weren't meaning to do that at all. You there? You, sir, really got to stop. All right. Okay, so is he the last of the forces? No, he's not. Okay. But, can we shock him? We can. Alright. Good. Then, can we blow him up? A little bit, but not really. My goodness, this guy is beefy. Um... Okay. Alright. Um... Sure, it'd be good if we had some arrows. Um, huh. What if I just jump? Can we grab onto the. We can. Alright, alright. Let's take this opportunity to say a word from our sponsor, Rusty's Bone. Keeps Rusty chewing on it forever. All right, oh, some roasted bass. And, oh, we got some apples. Is that the last thing we have to fight?
Go get a J5. Go get him. <laughs> oh. You don't have any arrows left. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It did exactly what it needed to do. All right. Love this little death machine that we built. It's super fun. It's very cheap. I am I'm not going to be very upset <laughs> at all if if they defeat it. That was that was fun. That was fun. And the the best part about it uh, is it didn't even really it didn't even really beat the giant bokoblin, right? All it did was just shoved it off the off the boat. It just went poop. All right. Interesting. So nothing there. Aha. Oh. Well, there's the boss bokoblin stuff. Can we make it to shore without going underwater? I think we can. Yay! Just barely. All right. So it seems like the shrine, oh, it's right over there, okay. Can we get all the way up? And I think to conserve stamina, it's the same kind of thing that we had in Breath of the Wild, going at an angle if you have to go up and over, uses far less stamina than going straight up or straight over, so, okay. So, glide, drop. That looks... Partial violence, so let's do this. <laughs> um, attach. All right. So, did our adventure log? Okay, so our adventure log did update. But personally, we have all sorts of things here that we can get. That sesame doesn't get to have. All right. Yes, I hear the shrine. I rushed with Porgy. Mighty bananas are always useful. Ah, rupee. Okay. some arrows. We have less than we started with, but hey, 
We haven't died. I know Sue's a little disappointed in that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, okay. Big brain move here. Um, saving. Hey, it's actually gotten warmer outside. It's now 29 degrees. We took him for a walk when it was 26 out. Monster horns and weapons. All right. Oh, I am, I am not a fan of them when they look like this. I seriously am going to have like concerns every single time we go to one of these shrines like this. Oh. Fool me once, Nintendo. Troll me once, really hardcore. And I am probably going to never, ever trust going up these stairs again. You have done well to reach this place, yes? How well exactly have I done? So there's a nice little fish pond over there. I guess we just do this, right? And see if we can just ascend out. Really? Oh. Seems good to me. They're going to give me a spot I can ascend out of. I'll go ahead and do it. Alright. So we got a ruby, we got a light orb, we're about to complete a quest. We got the the Colosseum, that was cool. I mean that that's that's some stuff, right? All in all, not a bad little experience out here. I'm not sure exactly. Pirate ship, yep, yep, yeah. Oh, a uh, blue main Lionel sit. What? Okay. No, I wasn't. I was not expecting something that rare at all. Okay. Well, huh. Lots of mining bananas. You know, the fact that we can come to this island and it won't be too bad, right? I mean, these mining ban bananas are out here. Uh, the, the porgies are where they're at. I mean, there's some good, there's some good farming ingredients here. 
Oh, send the lions even. Yeah, I think I just saw out of the corner of my eye a uh, Korok flower. Which I know Hobbs will be interested in. Knowing that we did something with a Korok flower. Yep, right there. Okay. Hobbs is an amazing turtle club. He is hands down bar none. The historian of all things, 100% for Zelda for us. Okay. So the Korok, we're up to 50 of those guys now. Oh my gosh. I think that might be enough for us to go up one more, but not 100% sure. Man, the question is now, because it's, you know, it's not that difficult to get back here, per se, because we've done quite a few things, right? But the question is, how many Koroks could Korok here, if a Korok could Korok a seed. And... I don't know the answer to that. Like, we got two fairly easy Koroks, right? Call me the Korok Whisperer at this point, because, yeah. It just looked like, hey, there, that, has a, that has a giant hole in it. Let's see what's in the hole, and sure enough. Spear broke. I really enjoyed that spear too. A soaring boomerang. Oh, Hylian Rice here too. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love the boomerangs because of that right there. Alright, so the question is, like how many other Korok seeds could be here? And you know, they, they do pack them a little bit tightly into this game. I mean, the first game had 900, and this game technically has a thousand but it's 900 different locations right arguably a thousand because you have to take the core out from location a to location Z right but but um, there's still just one location where you get the seed from hmm Somehow we gotta figure out the flying machine stuff here. I 
don't think there is a Korok in that. There couldn't be one over here in this fortress. I mean, Koroks are notoriously afraid of everything. It's worth a look, though. And then after that, um, maybe we go here to see if we can get somewhere. I mean, I really want to get these last five towers. Once we get the towers, I feel like we'll have a really good travel type map set up, right? Where we can get around the map fairly easily without any kind of problems. And I mean, Korok Seed there, Korok Seed there, Korok Seed there. I, I feel like Korok Seed there. I mean, there's four of them here. I mean, I, I feel like four is plenty. But I could be wrong. I know I'm probably going to regret leaving this island. But we're going to leave the island. And we did get a ruby, so we should have... I mean, even if we're, like, freezing our... Yeah, we're freezing, um, but uh, we can fix that by doing this. So, there's the next tower. Huh. You may look up how many Koroks are they, but I won't tell me. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's, uh, that's a little ominous, Sue, but I appreciate it. All right, let's see here. We we have a small elixir of of stamina. I feel like if we're gonna do what I'm about to do, oh, there's a shrine right there. All right, where is the shrine in relation to everything else? Okay, that shrine's over there, so that. It's pretty good. Uh, we need to see where all of our pins are. Oh, we didn't win all the jackpot on that. Okay. And there's a portable cooking pot there. I feel like we might have to go there, then come back. There's a stable there too, right? So there should be something to cook at. Um, okay, that's the reason why that pin's there, because something down below. Okay. Hygiene foot. Wait, where is our pins? My, okay, there's a yellow one down here. I don't know why there's a yellow one there. Okay, there's a purple one there. There's a green one there. There's a red one there. There's a blue one here. For the southern oasis. Ah, uh, okay. Now oh, that is way the far over there way the far over there. That is all the far over there, and if we drop down here, this is going to be bad. Oh no. Okay, we need to get all the way over here. 
and politely, ever so slightly. Okay. Oh, all right. Come on. Come on. Come on, Link. Regain your regain your stamina. Ooh, that's a big old pile of mess of angry too. Probably like right there. Geronimo. We are moving so slow. So slow. We just got to try to make it there. And I don't think we get there. I don't think we get there. Do you think we can do this? All right. So we are officially on the other side of the world. Yeah, so we feel we know the shrine's nearby because we see it. Oh, there's one of those uh, Aracutas. We'd be a horrible monster if we didn't. Interesting. That Lost our corgi. All right. Um, we only temporarily lost our corgi. I 
Um, excuse me, that's not where I put that. It's also not where I put that. Okay. If you want to play that way, we can play that way. Now let's try. He's standing. Yes, he's standing. Physics. That's how he's standing. Oh, we got a corgi back. We got a corgi back. Ten signs. Bam. Perfect. Red rupee. Woohoo. Rapid meaty rice balls. Okay. Bomb flower. We will never turn down a bomb flower. Well, rusty for a second there. I thought you were growling, but that's actually just the. Oh, wait. Take. What are we taking? We're taking a silent shroom. Okay. Those are the shrooms that don't necessarily. Sal, if you cross the corridor with a porgy, you get a corgi. Yes. Yes. I, I agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he is in such a better mood than what he was now that Nugret's back. Oh, still wanting more pets. Okay. Okay. Alright, can we... Is this graded just enough... The answer is no. Okay. So, yeah, you just want some more pets, huh? Yeah. Little attention goblin. Little attention goblin. That's all he is. Alright. Um. Oh, Rusty. Oh, buddy. Oh, Baba. Buddy, you, you are going to have to, I don't know what you're eating that makes that smell, but Bubba, we're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I think we might be able to, don't like it, but it might work. Oh, yeah, that's got us. I thought that was just a sliver. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Getting a little closer. Boy, it's warm here too. Let's uh, let's let's yeah. Yeah, I I, I agree though. Korak with a porgy, you get a corgi. Um, but you would need to have like a, a roasted porgy, I think, because they're like toasted little loaves of bread. Apple Gex Shrine. Apple is sweet. Apple Jacks. Apple Gex. 
Behold my magic hand. It makes rocks melt into TARDISes. Oh, if anyone here is a Whovian and you have not seen the new special, I am so sorry. It is, it's amazing. It is amazing. Digger and I watched it um, Sunday this week and um, it was basically like being in 2006 all over again. Um, say, wow. Okay. Well, this looks like a lots of fun. You've seen enough reviews of it. Oh, uh, it, it it is it is it's worth it, right? Um, thankfully, D Digger and I already have Disney Plus, so it wasn't like we went out and you know subscribed a new subscription to it because we watched several shows on Disney Plus already. Um, but um, yeah. Super worth it. Okay, let's see here. It's like throwing a paper airplane, right? So the question is though, where are the treasure chests? Oh, here's a treasure chest. Okay, it's not too bad. But yeah, the I mean it was it was great. It was it was everything that I really wanted to to see out of the return of Tennant and Tate. And yeah. Wait. And there was enough, there was enough different to also make it seem like it was worth it. And unfortunately for me, there there was a small minor part of the story that got spoiled because, you know, it came out like Saturday. I didn't get to see it till Sunday because I had to go. Actually, it was Monday when I got to see it on Sunday. Um. Okay. Is that the the K? Well, that's not good. Right? Hmm. Yeah, it's just for the three part special. It, it's. It. It's really, really weird, right? Because. I don't understand how Jody's run was so poorly managed, right? I mean, you had you had Chip Nall, who was the the head writer. They'd worked together on Broadchurch. Um, Chip Nall had done some really great writing beforehand, like you know there there were some really good Doctor Who episodes and stuff. Oh, oh, hello. 
Aha. Aha. So there, there was, there was plenty of opportunity to make that, you know, that series. Um, favorite, yeah, uh, I, I, I personally, um, Baker, definitely one of my favorites. Um, yeah, 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 Tom, Tom Baker. Um, number four, right? Also, oops, no, 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 please don't go, please don't go, please don't go, come back. We're, we're not done with you yet. Oh, no, 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 okay, we need you to come all the way back here. And we need, we, we must need it like this. Um, and personally, I, I enjoyed Eccleston. I, I know he's an acquired taste. But I I found his version of the Doctor to be really well done, um, especially for what he wanted to be. Right. I am slightly disappointed that he decided not to come back for the Doctor Who special, and that's the reason. But on the you know we got hurt though, right? For number for War Doctor. So I feel I feel like that was not my favorite thing to have Eccleston go, no, I'm done with all that, no. And I'm not going to come for your, your, uh, you know, your big, huge special, your, your anniversary special. You could find someone else to do that job. Um, but, you know, to, to be fair, though, he's not the first Doctor that's done it, right? I mean, uh, Baker, you know, Tom Baker did it. Uh, the Five Doctors, the reason why he wasn't there for a whole lot. Uh, yeah, that, that's, my, that's my only beef with Eccleston, right, is it's always kind of like a spelling problem. Um, but yeah, he, I enjoyed him. Uh, Tenet was good, don't get me wrong. Um, but I liked... I liked the darker version of the Doctor with what he was going through. I, I really liked Smith's run too, because there were times that there would be flashes of number nine in his eyes, when he would be like really angry about something, or just really just... Um, over something like you know you get to those points to be like um no you, you've had your turn now I am talking and you will sit down you will zip your lip and I will let you know exactly why you have just made the worst mistake in your life um so those things you know absolutely absolutely uh but, but Chibnall's run with, with Jody there it, the, the writing, the the best way I can say it, and I, I know there's a lot of neckbeard people out there, right, that have their own opinions about certain parts of the, the Hooverse uh, for when Jody took the mantle. Uh, those guys can can uh, not be here, right? Um, but Chibnall's writing, in my opinion, there, there are two problems that it had. Uh, the first one is, and I... I don't have a really good way to say this other than the way I can say it. It's he, and it's kind of funny to think about it like this, but he actually, um, he gave the audience far, far too much credit on what they could infer. Right? There's a lot that happened during Jody's run that happened off camera or was simply like a, a, a wink and a nod and you just have you just were expected to know that certain things are certain things. Now there's there there are some great things in Jody's run, um, some great plot points, um, and and then there's other stuff that didn't really go well. Um, but you know, it, it, and it got it got to the point to where so like. How best to approach it. So Digger and I always watched it together. And do I have any muddle bud? I don't. We leave those guys all the way all sorts of alone. And I, you know, I grew up 
sci-fi, fantasy, uh, Tolkien, uh, Brooks, you know, all those guys out there that would do, you know, writing of interest. Is this, is this ooze? Is this blight? Off of skeletons, all right. We, we definitely will take some of their parts. Um, but that that causes a bit of a problem for people, you know. That you know, for, for people like me, you know, watching something and and someone saying, you know, like yada 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 yada, and and then all of a sudden, it, whoa. This is the reservoir. Oh my gosh. What have they done to the... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so horrible. Oh. What is with that, too? Like, Aki Goopies. Oh. We got a tower to get to, but that is, that is some stuff we got to deal with. Oh. But the, the, but so like, you know, Doctor Who, right? The, as, as the story progressed, and the plot became less about what they could tell on camera and more about what you could infer off camera and guess, right? Um, the, the less people that weren't used to um, that kind of storytelling in general just were not happy with life. Okay, this doesn't seem to be like blight. This whole thing, though. Oh, man. And that's, you know, that was super unfortunate. Because Dick Rat's one of those people that, that's not her jam, right? She likes to sit, and she likes to be entertained. And she likes to follow along with the story and oh that's gross like way gross And unfortunately, Jody's run had too much of that. And so while we were watching Doctor Who and enjoying it together and seeing everything that it had to you know, offer, it, it got to the point where Degrat was just not willing to spend the time on it. Uh, we do want to do that again. Oh.
Looks like we're gonna get this tower. Maybe. And we'll be able to at least at least have an idea of what the snozberries is going on here. This stuff is so weird. It's like goopy mud. Can I set it on fire? Is it oil? Nope, it's not. Okay. Well, let's get this tower out of the way, guys, and then we're gonna have to call it quits. But yeah, and it, it was really disappointing. I I, uh, I rewatched all of New Who. Well, it's gonna have to be called something different now, right? Like, cause so there's classic Who, and then there was New Who. And then Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. Okay. So now I gotta figure out how we beat this. There's lots of splash fruit around. Oh! Okay. Well. I guess it's how we uh, beat it. Interesting. So we have to get rid of a weapon. Um, um, guess we get rid of that one. Yields a high attack power. All right, so. Do we just have to clean this whole thing up? Is that what's going on? I'm hoping that's all it is. go and now we're gonna jettison ourselves up to the sky and we're gonna see what in the dealio is with this goop y'all Looks like the Death Star. Okay. All right. So they're trying to blow up indoor, but in this case, Landryu is 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 indoor.
Yeah, you can't just give me like a giant Death Star and expect me to have to go find what's on the Death Star. Right. Jura Tagumak. Um, let's, uh, let's try to do this. The squirrel is shiny with this one. Yes, the squirrel is very shiny with this one. And the scroll should be going to bed, but oh no, we want to hold, hold. Um, and we are looking for soldier parts. And then we're gonna save and, and go to bed because we we have to. A cart, beam emitter. Oh, all right. Where's all the yucky goop coming out of? Is that from it there? Oh, that's so crazy looking. Oh, I'm getting dizzy just thinking about it. All right, yes, the squirrel is shiny. It's the way it happens sometimes. Is there... Is there more to this? Oh, we have an enigma wrapped in a conundrum and a nice puzzle candy wrapper well turtle club minecraft good luck on your stuff man with your with quadratic formulas or your functions or derivatives or whatever part of calculus you're going to be dealing with sue thank you for joining me today and of course our hats off to this guy here got his nose tucked in sleeping oh i'm tired of his bone i'm gonna have myself a good night You'll have a good breakfast, a good lunch, or a good dinner. Whatever you're about to do with Turtle Club. As always, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Take care and thanks for watching.